everybody, welcome to the makeup chair. So today we're doing um, a Cheryl Cole inspired look. So if you guys know me, you know that I'm a huge fan of Cheryl Cole. She, well Cheryl Tweedy now, um, because I just love everything that she does. I love her makeup, I love her hair. And when I saw the um, new L'Oreal Elnet campaign, um, the pink one, I just knew that I had to do the makeup. So um, yeah, that's my attempt at the makeup. And when I saw the hair, I was like, oh, I'd love to do the hair, but I'm not that great at doing, like, hairstyles and stuff. So I wanted to do a link-up video with my friend Jessica, who you guys might know as Dazzlejust08. The link to her video is going to be right here. So I really hope that you can check it out because she's going to show you guys how to properly do this. Because it might look okay right now, but it's crazy in the back. So I really hope that you will check that out. And if you're interested in this look, then just keep watching. <laughs> start off with the foundation so you can apply a primer um, but I've just used my moisturizer for this look so then I'm going to take my two foundations this is the ivory one this is lasting finish by Rimmel and then I have the 200 one the slight tiny difference in this is it's not a huge amount of difference in it but there is a slight one I'm going to first of all take the ivory one ivory is my actual skin tone I'm going to take a little bit of the 200 and the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to kind of um, create kind of a highlight in the center and then kind of shade the outer part using the darker shade. So we're going to first of all apply the ivory all over the face, the 200, and we're going to place this on the outer part of the face. It's like right under those cheekbones to kind of lift them and a little bit on the top of the forehead as well. So you want to make sure that you blend it down the neck so it kind of blends in with the um, the neck and the chest area. Now we're going to move on to concealing because I have quite a lot of things to conceal. So I'm going to take my concealer and um, warm it up in the back of my hand. Just going to dab it underneath the eye. And then you can blend it downwards. I'm going to be using my ring finger for this because it's a lot softer. And what you're doing is you're creating a triangle shape so it's coming down here and then up here and this whole area is going to be filled in with the lighter kind of shade this is actually a lot lighter than my um, natural skin color but it's just going to create kind of a highlighting effect I'm also going to do a little bit down the center of the nose just so we're kind of lightening the center and it actually thins out the nose a little bit I didn't see it's kind of like this long line down the middle so now we're going to go in and we're going to use a highlighter I'm going to be using this um, e.l.f. Beauty Encyclopedia. It's got these amazing highlighter colors up here. So I think from the picture I'm going to go with this kind of goldish color here. It's got a little bit of a gold tint to it. Like that. And we're just going to place this over here like this. So you're going up around the eye and down here. And that just lifts the cheekbones. Now we're going to go in and we're going to seal everything. So I'm going to be using a pressed powder for this, but you can use a loose powder, it doesn't really matter. A nice big brush as well, just so we get a really nice light hand and it's not too intense. So we're just going to move on to the eyes. I'm going to leave the face for a little bit. I'm going to allow my foundation and powders and all that kind of thing to sink into my skin. And then I'm going to show you guys how to fake kind of those really intense cheekbones that she actually has. Okay, so I've just done one eye just to, for convenience sake, and we're going to move on to the other one. So I'm actually going to first of all... Um, put my eyebrows kind of in place. I'm going to fill them in a little bit. So I'm going to be using medium. This is the e.l.f. Um, lifter and filler and I'm a medium. So I'm just going to fill them in. I don't want to create too much of an arch because she actually doesn't have an arch. So just fill them in very lightly kind of straight across. Um, and then I'm going to use the other side which is a lifter and it's in ivory. I think I have ivory. And I'm basically putting that underneath the brow and then I'm going to work it down because there's actually nothing on um, kind of the brow bone area. We're going to move on to the eyes now. I'm going to take a little bit of my Urban Decay Primer Potion, put a little bit of this on here like this. If you don't want to shell out the cost for this, you can try the e.l.f. primer because that's supposed to be um, just as good. I'm going to be using that this Catrice um, palette and this is Chocolate Temptation. It's got these four beautiful colours. And we're actually going to start off with a darker shade in this look. So what you're going to do is, if I can actually open this, you're going to take the darkest shade here. Um, it's kind of like a dark, dark brown. Um, not too much of a black, it's more of a dark brown. We're going to take it onto this kind of smudger brush right here, but it's got a little bit of kind of a blender almost. 
and we are going to place it into the crease like so and what I'm doing is I'm going like out here and then up so it's kind of this angle going upwards like that and then you just want to blend that next you're going to take the um, medium kind of light shade here so this is the lightest shade we're going to take that kind of golden brown when I take it onto the same brush, just brush it off in the back of your hand, take a little bit of that kind of golden shade, and we're going to place this right in here. Now you do want to place it, you don't want to rub it because these kind of have a bit too much shimmer in it and it'll fall all over your face if you don't kind of place it in there. So I'm just going to tap it in like this, and this is just going over the rest of the lid. So as that color is going up, this one's sticking kind of close to the um, lash line and it's going in the opposite direction. Now we're going to take that light shade and we're going to place this right in here like this very gently and that is just kind of outside the tear duct so follow the natural shape of your tear duct. Now you're going to take a flat brush and I'm going to be using this one right here so it's this flat brush here and we're going to take this copper color here so any type of copper color you have this is from my Ulala palette take a little bit of that it's like a, a brown with a little bit of gold kind of tinge in it and we're just going to place this onto that dark brown that we already did and then just bring it in a little bit. You really don't want to place too much. So if you do have an intense copper color, just use the very small amount of it. So we're just using it to kind of blend those two colors together. And now we're going to move um, just onto our liner. So I'm just going to be using this soft black liner by W7, um, which is just a really cheap brand. You want to make sure that you sharpen it quite well. I sharpened it with my e.l.f. Um, sharpener. So you just want to make sure that it's sharpened quite well so it's not a nice point to it. So you can actually do some real detailed work right up by the lash line. We're going to go back in in a few seconds just to um, add a little bit more shadow. But I'm actually just going to use this first. So we're going to line the underneath waterline just by the lash line kind of and we're going to also do the in part but I'm just going to line across here first. And you also want to do the upper and the lower waterline which is like tight lining. Basically you place it in there, this is the easiest way to do it, place it in there, close your eyes, let it run across like that. So you're getting the upper and the lower um, waterline which is right in there. Take a little um, q-tip and you are going to blend it in. So you get a much softer line. You also don't want it to come down too far underneath the eye. So if you have come down too far in the eye, take a little bit of concealer, dab it underneath, and it'll just lift it a little bit. Because you want to be creating a shape like this, rather than just one line all the way across. You want to be kind of highlighting in here and kind of grading it outward so it's a little bit down on this side and much higher on the inside. Go like that. So it's lined all the way around and a little bit of detailed work right in there. So now we're going to do the upper part of the eye. So you're just going to line it very lightly across. And this just defines the eye, make the eyelashes look a little bit thicker as well. So now we're going to take that gold color again, the coppery gold color. And we are just going to take it onto a flat brush. And we're going to put it onto that line we already created. Because that line is so dark, this kind of brightens it up a little bit. So we're going to move on to adding some lashes. Now what you can do is if you want to keep your natural lashes, you can curl them quite well. So you can get your curler, warm it up with your hair dryer, make sure it's not too hot, then curl your lashes for um, a long time so they really, really lift from the roots. Um, it's just a really, really simple way of doing it if you don't want to add false eyelashes, but I'm going to add some false eyelashes so that you gel your um, natural lashes and your fake ones together and what you can do is you can just take your mascara wand make sure it's not too much on there and twirl it in there so that you're only getting your natural lashes and you're not getting the fake ones okay so we're gonna do the rest of the face now and uh, I'm going to be using um, the elf um, little beauty encyclopedia thing and it has these two shades in here so I'm first of all going to take the um, contouring color so it is good to use some kind of a bronzer um, to, for this look so that you can get that chisel kind of face that Cheryl has. So I'm going to take a little bit onto my brush and have a pinpointed brush right here. Basically I've taken my um, kind of long um, retractable brush and placed it up a little bit more so it's a little bit more 
kind of dents and stuff like that. So we are actually going to place this underneath here like this. So we're getting underneath the cheekbones. And the lighting in here actually really helps so that I can actually know where underneath my cheekbones is. But you can just suck in your face like that if you want to and just get underneath. And then we're going to do little circles like this just to blend it. Now we're going to move on to the blush. So I'm going to be using the blush side. Take a little bit of that onto a full brush like this. And you don't want it to come too far in here. So the best thing to do is actually just place your finger in there just to stop it from coming too close to the nose. And then smile and get the apple and work it upwards. I do kind of very light strokes. I don't want to just place it like this. I actually just do very light strokes like this. So it just brushes over the cheekbone. We're going to move on to the lips. Now, I am actually going to be using this new product. This is, um, well, this new product to me anyway, because I haven't used it before. But this is e.l.f. Um, Lip Plumper and Primer. And it comes like this. I love the packaging. It's really kind of cute. One side, it's got this cinnamon-based lip plumper and I've had this on while I did the rest of the makeup so it kind of plumped up the lips as we went along. Then on the other side you have the primer. The primer is this beautiful kind of um, natural kind of colour. It blurs out the rest of your lips like that and then I'm just going to blend it in. And if you love a nude lip then this is definitely something you should try because I love having nude lips. So now we're going to line the lips. I'm going to be using Spice. This is e.l.f. Um, Spice, I think it's called. So we're going to line the lips in this. So we're going to take a um, kind of nudish lip. I'm actually just looking at the picture right here. Um, it's kind of a nudish, pinkish lip. So I'm just going to take, this is um, Rimmel Seduce, and this is also a lip plumper. I'm just going to place that over the lip. It's probably slightly more nude than she has in the picture, but I really like my nude lips at the moment. And that is pretty much the finished look. I'm actually just going to take my hair down like that, so it's swept across. Um, this look has actually been one of my favourites that I've done in a long, long, long time. And I really hope that you enjoyed it, and you will check out um, Jessica's link, which is going to be in the little box below, um, to show you guys how to do the hair, because I kind of threw this up myself, but it's not as good as what she's going to do. So definitely check that out. Um, if you have any questions or anything, or you want to know any of the products, you can check the box below. Ask me anything, ask me here, ask me in Forum Spring, or you can add me a friend on Facebook, and everything is going to be in the box below. So I really hope that you enjoyed this. I'm Sinead Katie, and thanks for watching.